hey everyone welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code 401 binary watch this is an easy one a binary watch has four leds on the top represent to represent hours 0 to 11 so these four are eight these four leds are eight four two and one these are for hours and Six LEDs on the bottom, which are uh, which are representing the minutes. On the bottom to represent the minutes, these are 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. Okay. And now uh, each LED represents a 0 or 1. So if there is a 1 on the certain, you can say like the binary of 4 is 0, 0. So if there is 1 on 4, we will be highlighting it you can say and the is in the same case you can say for 8 binary of 8 is 1000 so 8 will be highlighted and same goes for the minutes 16 8 2 and 1 okay so for example the binary watch reads uh, here there is an example for uh, an hour 4 and 51 if you add 32 16 and 2 and 1 it will be 51 so, uh, given an integer turned on, <clears throat> which represents the number of LEDs that are currently turned on. So, we are given an integer turned on, which will tell us how many LEDs are turned on. We have to return the possible outcomes uh, depending on that turned on <clears throat> integer which we are being passed. So, the hour must not contain a leading zero like this this format is not acceptable this is acceptable and but in the minutes uh, you can see that this format is not acceptable but this format is, is acceptable so if we are given like an, an example turned on one it means that a one light is turned on one led is turned on so it can be either minutes uh, it can be either from the minutes part or from the Or from the uh, you can say hours so that's it so yeah that's it what we'll be doing is just <clears throat> making a loop for hours making a loop for minutes till uh, till 60 and hours till 12 and we will be converting our hours and minutes to binary after converting it to boundary, we, uh, binary we will be counting the ones in them and if the counting in the ones in them is equal to the turn down which we are given we will just uh, you can say format them after formatting them what we will do is just append them to our result so that's it so first of all our output you can say output list and for i in range 12 and secondly for uh, let me ma make them hard so it is more h h will be for hour and m is for minutes so for <clears throat> uh, uh, so for m in range 60 because we want to go from 0 to 59 and r from 0 to 11 so now here we will compute calculate our m is equal to will be converting hours into binary so binary hours plus binary minutes and after that <clears throat> we will be checking if temp dot count one is equal to turned on if it is we will just uh, format it uh, so the format will be like this and this now one integer then this sign now we have two integers so this and this should work fine i think there will be a like this okay let's see if this works or not but uh, 
now let's pass it uh, hours and minutes and after that we can just output append output append our time and after doing all of this we can just return our um, output so let's see if this works yeah this works hopefully <laughs> this works yes and that's it if you have any question you can ask them in the comments and that's it